Hello there, it's me, Butch, and today I want to talk to you about a piece of paper on my Bible and not reading in the Bible itself. Now this piece of paper says something very special, and whenever I read this paper it's like me reading in the Bible, okay? So don't be offended, okay? Great. Right, you really believe that? This is what that paper says. Reading the Bible, you goof nut. <laughs> you think I'm really going to stand here and just read a piece of paper and not read in the Word? Come on. This, if, I don't, if I'm not reading in this, this right here don't matter. <laughs> now, some people do it with it the way they want to do it, but. I'd rather read in the Bible. I'd rather, rather read straight from the Bible. And uh, I didn't really come with a message. I didn't come with anything prepared. I'm just going to go to the page. And I'm in Malachi chapter 4. And uh, so I just, I don't have nothing today on my mind. I just kind of gonna go from this and um, you know just want to say to um, September 20th will be my third year reading in the King James Version Bible <laughs> but uh, I started my third year that I was here in Tennessee so um, that year that um, three months from now a little over three months from now. For me, it will be my sixth year being here in Tennessee and my third year in the King James Version. I started um, reading the King James Version, I mean, excuse me, the NLT. I read. I first started reading that. I read that, um, what was it, the uh, September 9th, 2010. I finished that in March uh, March um, March 12th 2011 and uh, I waited for like five months or so then I got into the uh, uh, what's like a year or so after I got moved over here before almost no time I, I've been here for almost uh, five years here living here by myself but I've been in Tennessee for almost six but anyway um, just to give you a little not, there's nothing on my part bragging about, you know, I'm not bragging about it, I just want to tell you, um, I, that doesn't make me any smarter than anybody else, I just want to share it with you real quick before I go to um, Malachi chapter 4, I, I'm just, I'm not going with, I don't have anything prepared, I didn't have anything in my mind, it's like I did yesterday or other videos, I'm just kind of going, going with the flow, you know, but um, anyway, my, like I said, um, my first reading, Bible reading, all the way through what I thought was the Bible back then was the um, NLT, and that was September 9th to um, March 12th, 2011. And that took me about almost six months or so. Uh, the King James, of course, as I said, I'm, um, September 20th, 2011, to my birthday, which was 228, 2012. I was 40 years old. That was something because they just so there's it's a historical um, references on that because my third year here I was um, I believe I was 39 and whenever my birthday came that same day I finished it <laughs> and I was 40 and I always felt that some, God would have something for me when I, I turned the age of 40 so it was my first completion of the King James Version Bible. And I knew that's what it was. So I, right when I finish is when I turned 40. <laughs> I think it was that night when I was at work. My second time was, uh, um, it was actually two years ago. It was um, June 13th. I'm sorry, May 13th. Hey, what am I thinking? It's a June, it ain't May. But um, May 13th, 2012 to November 5th, 2012. That's my second time. And my third time was um, 
December 28, 2012 to uh, um, another anniversary date there, um, August 21st. That was um, my fourth year being here, 2013. And so um, a week or so later, on the 29th of that same month, I started my fourth reading, and I finished that um, a week and a half ago. That was the 23rd of May. So anyway, I just wanted to share that, and that's probably no big no deal to nobody else, but you know, a little bit of a deal to me. I just want to kind of also record that for posterity. That way, Seth gets curious one day, he can see this video. And um, I'm gonna try to save this one for that occasion. And I might do a, um, a special video. Not, like I said, not nothing to brag, but it just something for Seth one day. That way he can look back on it and everything, and he can select his own his own date, and you know read through the Bible, and you know whenever he stopped, you know that's something for him to shoot for, look forward to. But anyway, uh, Malachi chapter four, ooh, losing balance. Uh, it says, "For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble." And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Huh. Well, maybe this is divine providence. You see on the video that I made last night I'm talking about growing up. You should grow up as calves in the stall of the stall, it says. Growing. Wow. And that's that's got to be the Lord had just put this, you know, this this is the Lord's work right here. Just that little bit of nuance. Uh let's see here, um, and ye shall tread down the wicked, or they shall, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. And the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember, ye the law of Moses, my servant, ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I have commanded unto him in Horeb. For all Israel with the statutes and judgments, behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. And uh, anyway, people think, well, Elijah gets reincarnated in John the Baptist. Oh. He came in the spirit. It was the same spirit of Elijah. He was beheaded. And also you see the transfiguration of uh, Moses and Elijah. Some people think Moses and Elijah is going to come during that day. It talks about uh, Malachi, that great and dreadful day, uh, what did it say? Uh, of the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. That's Malachi chapter 4, verse uh, 5. So we see Malachi, oh, excuse me, Elijah already came. Right? He, he, he came and he got taken up. John the Baptist came in the spirit, in the same spirit of Elijah, the same spirit of prophecy of Elijah, and he was beheaded. Right? So, um, uh, it wasn't that John the Baptist was actually Elijah himself. He says it, and um, I believe it says it in, um, in John or something like that. And he says, are you so-and-so? He goes, no, I'm not. Are you this and that person? No, I'm not. Are you Elijah? No, I am not. And so he, he, he flat out said, I'm not Elijah. And But um, Elijah will come before that great and terrible day of the Lord. So there's going to be two of them. There's going to be Elijah and somebody else. So that would probably likely be Enoch. Enoch was taken up into heaven. He never saw death. Moses saw death. He died. He died on, um, what was it, um, Pisgah or, what was the name of that mountain? But anyway, he died. And um, 
you know, you'll see where the angels were, kin uh, the demons contended over the body of, the, of, the, of Moses, and Michael, I believe it was, said the Lord rebuke you. And um, so evidently, there had been a landslide or something other than it covered him up, you know, buried him, what have you. Or, uh, so nobody knows where his grave is. So, and that's another thing too, but th see, some people could argue that. Well, there's no grave, we know where he is, so maybe the Lord took him up. Well, he died. Elijah and Enoch didn't die, they were taken up. But Moses died, yet he was with the Lord. But, some, but that couldn't make no relevant, that couldn't, that couldn't make no difference as far as him dying. But it's likely it's going to be Enoch and Elijah. Do I know that 100% sure for 1%? No. But whatever the case may be, it's not nothing to argue about or fuss over or say, hey, if you don't believe this, you're not a Christian, you're going to go to hell or something like that. Or, you know, or you're not saved or some bull crap like that. But anyway, that's all I got to say for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I sent Tracy... My buddy Tracy, a uh, Bible like this, this was the one that um, was given back to me about a pastor. He would rather somebody else have it, you know, enjoy it. So, sent it off today. So, congrats to Tracy getting the very last Thompson Chain Reference Bible from local church. So, see y'all later. Take care.